It's an unspeakable loss for a local family after their son traveled to Boston and never came home. Blaine McGowan went to school in Prince George. He was an electrician, travel buff and musician. Memories are now all the 30-year-old's family has left. He was found dead in a Boston bar and what caused it is still a mystery. I just miss him so much and my heart is broken so bad and no parent should ever feel this feeling ever. Friends try to comfort Peggy Sue Bergstrom, but nothing can stop the pain. Her only son is dead. Even worse, he's on the other side of the continent. She just wants to be with him. I could have held him. I could have stroked his beautiful hair. His hair's long as mine. He's, he, I could have felt his face. But she couldn't do that. Her son, Blaine McGowan, died in a Boston pub early Wednesday morning. What's worse than losing him is not having any answers. A 30-year-old man just doesn't die up for nothing. So we don't know anything that's going on. But family and friends aren't getting those answers. It doesn't seem like they can really tell us anything. It doesn't seem like they even care. You know, and, and I mean, it's Boston. It's a big city. It's, I'm sure it's hard for them to care about every single thing that happens, but it's just hard for people like us. We want answers. McGowan set out on a cross-country trip and made stops in New York and Boston. Boston police are appealing for tips in the case. His friends and family are remembering the good times, like when McGowan took to the stage in his metal band. Now his family wants to bring his body home to Prince George, but it's an expense the family can't afford. There's nothing worse than having your baby. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Having your baby away from you and and you you just can't have him close, you know. We just got to get him home. They've set up a website where people can help. It's Blaine McGowan Memorial Fund. Blog. Ca. Bergstrom says what they don't have in money, they have in love, and that's what she's relying on to get through this nightmare. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.